coffee everywhere. It's down on everything. Yeah, I don't want to listen to you about it all day. Oh, so you think it's a good idea? So you're taking responsibility for getting started? No. Where we have been, where we are going. We're going to be taking a van to every country in the world. I have never been so nervous about a border crossing in my life. This has never even been attempted before. To fly a parachute in every country of the world. Oh, as you can see behind me, that was aw- What do you mean, oh God? I spilled coffee. What the hell oh did you do, Sandra? God, it's coffee over everything. Oh my God, you got coffee. What oh the hell did God. you do? It's gonna be so sticky. No, you're cleaning this. What do you mean it's gonna I be so to sticky? Be First people here at Skydive Phoenix are so accommodating. They have pear trees and cherry trees, and they just picked us a bunch of them for breakfast. The cutest little bear I've ever seen. Now right, we're cleaning all this up, but not only did they give us cherries and fresh fruit, they gave us a whole bunch of danishes of some sort, some kind of local Serbian treat. It's filled with cheese, and look at the grease on that thing. That We're leaving here a couple pounds heavier for sure, dude. It's got a Phoenix. A mess in van life. This is the reality. You come out and you play for a weekend, come out and skydive, everything's a mess. Sandra spilled the coffee everywhere. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. It's kind of like a domino effect. I spilled the coffee. It spills all over everything, all into our drawers. So now I have to pull everything out and wipe down all this coffee, wipe it down with water, which is a precious resource, so that it's not sticky. At least Freedom's having a good time here. Our camping spot is in the perfect place, right between a couple of trees and a nice cool breeze. The tree means we're able to hang a toy for Freedom, so she spent the last half an hour now playing with this rope hanging from a tree. Me playing with coffee, not so much a great time. Before we get into the rest of this epic episode, we're excited to share with you that we are running a Dream Stakes giveaway with our partners at USA Solar Networks for $2,500 cash prize to pay for your next dream vacation. You can enter for free by clicking the link in the video description. With that, let's check out the rest of this epic episode. So we got to, what's the name of the city? Uh, Belgrade. And Sandra researched and found a hotel, but apparently we have to park our van a quarter mile from this hotel and walk to it. The whole point we were going to this hotel was to work and do laundry and get shit done. I'm not a big fan, to be honest, of cities as it is, letting alone leave our equipment in a van and get our shit stolen. Yeah, I don't want to listen to you about it all day. Oh, so you think it's a good idea? So you're taking responsibility for getting stolen? No, stolen. I, that's what I'm saying I don't want to do. I don't want to But you're blaming stolen. me. You're saying that it's my fault. I don't want it to get stolen and have it be my fault. But so. you were so excited to stay in this hotel. I was, but I don't want it to be a thing now. What do you mean you don't want it to be a thing? I don't want thing? to be held over my head that something got stolen and it was my fault because I booked the hotel. And even though you researched it as well. I did not research this hotel. I tried to find another hotel that was dope. That didn't accept dogs. <laughs> It didn't accept dogs, and I ran out of options after that. The yeah. whole point we were here was to work. How about you go to the hotel and I'll just stay in the van? This one might be a better option. I think I'm just gonna stay in the van and she can go to the hotel. Freedom and I will stay in the van. I'll I drop you Freedom off. Freedom wants to stay in the van. Too. I bet your butt she would rather stay with me than you. Real life, real life problems. Random epic fireworks show in Serbia. This is our room number 13, our lucky number. Let me show you guys where we're staying. It's called the Ark Bark. It's on the river. We'll start in the bedroom here. This is our bedroom for the night. Uh-oh, look at this. We have a view of a river out there. Music, local music. Not bad, Freedom's little bed over here. All right, this is the bathroom here. I don't know how to turn on lights. Oh, there we go. This is what a bathroom looks like on a moving boat. This is the living room. Check this baller status out. Nice. Quite the unique. Show you pretty cool. This is the room that's chilling. Let's see what we can see out there tonight though. Okay, I'm walking on the dock. You guys can't see anything. You see over there though? Look, that's a boat. We're all on the river right now. We'll have to look at it in the morning. As you guys know, we spend about 99.7% of our time outside in nature, as far away as cities as we can be. But that other 0.03% of the time, we like to go into the cities and explore a little bit. So we are in the capital of Serbia right now, Belgrade. You just said so. Messing up my. You know it's okay. They'll all watch. They'll, they're all, they're all with it. 
We decided to treat ourselves to a unique hotel while we were in Belgrade. This is actually a boat hotel, which means it's a floating hotel. We got to meet with the owner and he told us about the name, Arka Barka. Bark in European and Middle East Serbian means boat, Barka. Barka. Wood, wood boat. And Ark from Noah's Ark from the Bible means Ark means boat as well. This establishment, Arka Barka, was the first one on the river here that you could stay in. It actually stayed off as a single room and he grew over the years. He's been here about 12 years. Across from us, what you see behind is a island and on that island there's 150 different species of birds. We were gonna go over there and do an awesome like drone thing, but we had a huge fight in the van and we didn't even get to go into the city and explore. We got to the destination where we were gonna go explore, had a fight and so then close. threw a tent and tantrum and then we ended up coming back here and we stayed out late arguing so we didn't even get to get up this morning and we are gonna rent a kayak and go over there. Hopefully tonight after our cooking class and after we repack our reserve, we can go out to the city and show you guys what we wanted to. I'm telling you, I'm getting on the, Hey babe, I'm the, over here, talk to me babe. What's the, what's the cost babe? <laughs> the cost of this boat hotel was about 40 bucks a night. So not too expensive, but not as cheap as other places. <laughs> We're gonna go explore the city a little bit, round two. Hopefully Jamie doesn't throw a temper tantrum. A lot of you guys have been asking where we have been and where we are going. So I want you to know that we started, I flew one way to Norway, which is up here. I got the van, I drove the van all the way down to Norway. Okay, I took a ferry across here, drove through Denmark, okay, all the way to the Netherlands, along this entire coastline flying, all the way through all of this. Germany. Germany, Netherlands. Netherlands, and I went to France. We drove through the Eiffel Tower, we went back to the coast, and we came all the way down here to Dune de Playa. I said, let's just go over here to Sopalina, which is in Spain. And then when I got to Spain, I said, hey, I have a crazy idea. Why don't we just drive the entire coast of Spain and Portugal? And it actually took us a month. And we drove around the entire coastline of Spain and Portugal flying, having a great time. It got really hot as f actually right here. Food so we food, food, po food poisoning right there. Right, so then we drove all the way over here. To, we saw our buddy here, Joseph. And then we drove up through the entire Alps, all the way through the Alps. Then we drove to Switzerland. Then we drove to Austria. We drove all the way up here. And we were having so much fun. Then we drove to Slovenia. Then we went back to Hungary. And then we went to Romania. And then we were supposed to come in through the border for season two. We were supposed to come through right here. Last <laughs> died. So then I drove from the coast of the Black Sea all the way over here uh, to here. Came down here. And then we came over here and went skydiving yesterday, last weekend. And where and are now, we now? Now we're in Belgrade. What's different this year is last year we didn't get any hotels or hostels or anything like that. We just stayed in the van for seven months. And it kind of wears on you. So this year our goal is to try to rent at least one hotel or hostel in every major city that we go to. One, so that we can park the van and not stress on that and then go in and experience the city. Also, we need to be able to plug in drives, charge things, just take showers, stretch our legs out, change the pace a little bit. So this is what we're working with this year. I'm gonna have all the drives out, I'm gonna transfer some files and get everything ready and just maintenance a little bit. Sanders gotta work on some sponsorship, marketing, things of that nature. You can see Freedom's just chilling over there. She's doing her thing. And we just want to kind of change it up a little bit, be able to experience not just van life, but also hostels, hotels. And again, just the overall experience is what we're aiming for. Ow. Is it yours or Freedom's? No, it's my blood. Oh, I was laying down with her and this thing swung into my head. Oh, uh, uh, see. That was a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. Oh, God right. dang it. Let's lay you down. Yeah, let me get you a towel. Hold on. So we're very excited. Ah, push up on command right now. Right now you started it. Okay, what are we doing? We're getting massages. So excited, we're definitely sore, much needed. The coronavirus is over, or at least no one's talking about it, which means we can go get a rubber tub. Rubber loving, rubber. Somebody's rubbing something. <coughs> Policy here is they have to wear underwear, so they didn't have any men's underwear. So I'll be wearing women's. <laughs> that was amazing. I'm pretty sure I felt her elbow in my soul. We uh, we totally got the sports massages. Told them that we're quite sore after not getting massages for so long, and they definitely worked it. I can I, I can still feel her elbow in my back, but much needed. Let's go see how much this costs, and then get some sushi. Babe, what'd you do? I crashed it. Maybe. Do not. Into the water. We're late. I had to run all the way back, like a mile back and forth. Sprinting. I'm hot. So hot. What are we doing today? Uh, we are going to cook some. Hey guys, thanks for watching. 
Remember, you can help us set a world record and fly a parachute in every country of the world by hitting the like button, subscribing, and turning on notifications. And also, if you like free stuff, we work with brands and are always giving away freebies. You can click here to enter. See, See you, you at next the next episode. episode.